Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to be going over uh, solving oblique triangles, specifically when we are given an ambiguous case. Um, that would be when we're giving two sides and an angle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we all know the other cases where we're given such thing as angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, and side, side, angle. In all of those cases, we would use the law of sines to solve them, of course. Uh, what I don't have on here are the cases when we're given side, 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 as well as side, angle, side. In those cases, you'd use the law of cosines. But when we're given side, side, angle, that is when we're given an ambiguous case. In those scenarios, we must find the height of the triangle given, and the height is equal to the side adjacent to the given angle multiplied by sine of the given angle. Sorry for that. So basically just saying B of sine A. So why the heck does that even freaking matter? Well, that matters because we use this height we use this height to determine if there are either zero solutions with the given sides and angle, one solution, or two solutions. And this is what we would always look for when given an ambiguous case. Like I said, there are three scenarios. We either have zero, one, or two solutions in an ambiguous case. And we use H to determine that. And how we do that is like this. So, if our h given uh, if our h that we find is equal to the opposite side of the triangle given uh, well then that would mean that there's only one solution possible with the given information I think I'll just write solve that's a bit easier okay um, this also goes if the opposite side is larger than the adjacent side then we would also have one solution total so we have how to find one case if the height here let me write this if the height is greater than the opposite side though that would mean that no triangle is possible. There are zero solutions with the given information. <clears throat> Excuse me. And finally, if our height that we find is less than our opposite side, or it is greater, or sorry, less <laughs> than our adjacent side, Two triangles are possible with two solutions. So we see what H is used for in this case and we now know how to find it. Uh, now I think we should go a little further in on how to utilize this in certain example problems. So in this first example we are given angle B, side B, and side C. Now. I'm just going to draw this out real quick and we all should keep in mind that you should most likely draw out what you're given so you don't lose track of things so angle C so we're given angle B which is let me write that down here 147.08 degrees we're given side C and we're given side B 15.2 and 5.8 now, um, our triangle would not look like this. It would probably end up looking something along the lines of this, with an incomplete segment down here. So, what we want to do is find that H I was speaking about in the introduction. And we know that H is equal to the adjacent side multiplied by sine of the opposite or of the given angle 
So the adjacent side of the angle in this case would be 5.8 sine our given angle being 147.08 and if we enter this into our calculator we are given 3.15 so height is 3.15 in this case so we're going to use this and we're going to figure out how many solutions there are so we have H we also have the opposite side of the angle so I'll just put in op opposite equals 15.2 in this case and adjacent is equal to 5.8 so is the opposite side less than H in this case we will just look back and we see that is not the case at all we're going to check if it is equal to if the opposite side is equal to H that is again not the case we're going to check if a is sorry not a opposite side is greater than our adjacent side and that is the case so our opposite side of 15.2 is greater than our adjacent side of 5.8 and what this means is there's one solution I wrote down in the introduction the four cases to determine if there's zero solution, one solution, and two solutions. Um, in our example problems, we have to go through a whole mess of using sine, finding the angles, and multiply, not multiplying, but adding or subtracting from 180 to see if they're lower or greater. But this is so much faster. And it gives us our answer. In this case, there's only one solution because the opposite side is larger than the adjacent side. Now for the second example we're given angle A, side A, and side B. Just like the other example we're going to draw this out just to help us further. So triangle ABC we're given angle A in this case 44 44.1 side A 8.6 and side B 10.3 now we're going to want to find the height in order to determine how many solutions are in <coughs> this scenario so again H equals the adjacent side of the given angle which would be 10.3 in this case and um, to continue H equals the adjacent side of the given angle multiplied by sine of the given angle being 44.1 now to write that out it would be 10.3 multiplied by sine of our given angle 44.1 and this would equal 7.37 7. so now that we have our height in order to determine what type of scenario what well not what type but what scenario this is we're going to need to write out our opposite side of the given angle which is 8.6 in this case as well as our adjacent side of the given angle being 10.3 with these We'll be able to determine the scenario and determine how many solutions there are. So I wrote it down in the introduction, the four scenarios being oh, the opposite side is less than the height or H. Um, the opposite side is equal to H. The opposite side, not the opposite side, so the adjacent side is greater than the opposite side, and the opposite side is greater than our height. And lastly, the opposite side is greater than or equal to our adjacent side. 
So, looking back at our three things that we got, our h, our opposite side, and our adjacent side, we can see that the opposite side is not less than our height. We can also see that our opposite side is not equal to our h, but we can see that our adjacent side is greater than our opposite side. And we can also see that our opposite side is greater than our height. That would mean that this case right here should be applied. And, and in this scenario, the number of solutions would be two. So this just means that there are two solutions with the given information. Once we figure out which scenario applies, we don't need to look any further. There are two solutions because the adjacent side is greater than the opposite side of the given angle and the opposite side of the given angle is greater than our found height. Now finally for our last example we are given angle A, side A, and side C. And now we will again draw this out as usual. Our triangle ABC given angle A, which is 38.1 in this case, given side A 3.5, and we're given side C, which is 15.5. Now, like all our other examples, we want to find H. So we must determine what our adjacent side to the given angle is, which in this case is 15.5. It's pretty easy to find that out. So, we have our adjacent side of the angle. We want to multiply it by the sine of our given angle, which in this case is 38.1. So, 15.5 multiplied by sine of 38.1. This would equal h to, give me a moment, 9.56. So, we now have our height, we should just write down what our opposite side of the given angle is in this case, being 30.5, we want to write down our adjacent side of the given angle, which was found to be 15.5, and now we want to compare these and see which scenario applies. So. We're going to look and see if the opposite side is less than the height. We can see that that is in fact true. The opposite side being 3.5 is less than, let me write that a little, there is less than our h being 9.56. We can stop looking through the scenarios now and conclude that there are zero solutions. That is because our opposite side of the given angle is less than our height. Okay, so after going through all those examples, I'm just placing the certain scenarios back out there. Uh, we can look at A in these as the opposite side and B as the adjacent side. A is less than H, opposite less than height there's no solution. Opposite equal to height, there's one solution. Uh, adjacent greater than opposite and opposite greater than height, then there's two solutions. Opposite greater than or equal to adjacent, there's one solution. This table here basically states everything I utilize throughout the examples. All you basically need to know is this. Now in our homeworks and quizzes and tests though, <coughs> It seems as if um, we have to use the law of sines and uh, s subtract it from 180 and see if it's greater than 180 and add it with a given angle. But all that seems like a bit too much to me. This here, this table alone, just gives you the basic idea that you need to use. It's a lot more simpler than using law of sines finding an angle, adding it with the given angle, subtracting it from the total angle. It just 
it's more direct and it is m a lot more simpler and using just this could get you through as many ambiguous cases given to you. The only thing that you should keep in mind when you are solving these ambiguous cases is you need to find your height and you need to compare it to your opposite sides and your adjacent sides and you also need to compare those opposite and adjacent sides to each other. And remember that you are always looking for zero, one, or two solutions.